Hello! Jamf Pro Blueprints enable administrators to leverage Apple's declarative device management and deploy settings to all supported devices in one location. Let's go through a quick demonstration of how to use Blueprints in Jamf Pro. Select Blueprints in the sidebar. If you see a banner stating Single Sign-On or SSO setup is required, check out the documentation link in the resources of this video for instructions on how to configure SSO in Jamf account. If you see an error stating you must be logged in with Single Sign-On, log out and back in using SSO. Blueprints can be created using the Blueprint Builder or a Quick Start template. Tags indicate which types of devices each template applies to, since Blueprints configure settings for all supported devices in one location. Select a template to get started, enter a name, then click Next. The scope for Blueprints can target one or more groups, including both smart and static groups. Notice computer groups and mobile device groups appear as options. Once the scope is selected, click Next. When configuring a blueprint, only selected settings are included in the deployment. For example, I'm selecting require passcode on device and a minimum passcode length of 8 characters. Click Save, then we're brought to the Blueprint Builder where the blueprint is created but not yet deployed. This can be verified under Status at the top and back in the list of blueprints. When ready, select a blueprint, then click Deploy. The Components Library contains configuration profile payloads and declarative configurations that can be added to the Blueprint. Similar to templates, an icon appears on each component to indicate which types of devices they apply to. We can search for a component and select it to see its configurable settings, or drag it into the declaration group to include it in the Blueprint. Again, only configured settings with their checkboxes selected are included in a Blueprint deployment. Some settings, like Install Actions, require us to click Update to apply changes. Then be sure to click Save. A component can be removed by selecting it and clicking Delete, or dragging it out of the Declaration group back into the Components Library. If any changes need to be made to the scope, click Scope, select or deselect the appropriate groups, then click Save. The vertical ellipse button opens a menu with options to delete the blueprint or choose Edit Details to change its name and description. Under Recent Activity, we can see when the blueprint was last updated and last deployed. Since changes have been made, the status appears as Changes Not Deployed, and this label also appears on the blueprint tile in the list of blueprints. When ready to deploy changes, select the blueprint, then click Deploy. The status changes to show the number of deployed, pending, and errors, and our blueprint now appears as deployed in the list of blueprints. Thanks for watching.